Good morning and welcome to a day in the life. Mac, what? should we do this? Say, oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, you guys, I'm so tired. Okay, it is 8 a.m. and one of your top requested videos is an updated day in the life. So I picked today at random. I'm gonna take you guys around with me all day. This morning I am dragging extra because somebody, Mac, had a horrible night last night. He was up like every hour all night, which is so weird. Bubba and I are extra tired. And then I have thyroid scan at the hospital. I'm preparing for a work retreat, so I've got a bunch of work stuff today. So anyway, we'll see how today pans out. I'll just take you along with me. You ready? Let's do this. First things first, the construction continues. Ignore all this mess in my room. For the last few months, we've been working on building a kitchenette in my office and getting my office set up. I swear to you, it's a never ending project. So we had to move everything from my office in here. And right now we've got piano lessons going on because the kids have a recital coming up this weekend. So we're gonna walk by and they're gonna be practicing. And then in here, everybody say good morning. Good morning. We've got Bubba doing dishes. What a good man. We've got Jossie. We've got Dad. We've got Lazy Rio here. Hello, big boy. And here's Romy, who's doing our pre wash on our dishes. Don't worry, we put them in the dishwasher after. But good boy, Rome. You letting him have it this time, Rio? Normally he's. Demanding. We've got Hutch. We've got Davy. We've got Priya. We've got Maury. Maury, you're not dressed. You gotta be dressed before you come down. And Beck, wave real quick. All right, so right now we're just doing breakfast and I actually need to go get dressed because I need to take my kids to school and then I will be leaving shortly after that to go do my thyroid scan. So I figure now while everybody's eating, I'll go get ready real quick. Actually, before I go get dressed, I am going to grab some clothes for my kids. Maury needs a little dress. Let's find something for her. And then I'm going to grab some clothes for Dev and Joss. And I'm gonna grab clothes from Mac, from his cute room that my friends all did for me. So cute. All right, Bubba did the dishes, thank you. Kids are eating and doing piano. Clothes are here. I'm gonna go get dressed before I miss my window. Hey Matt, what are you doing? Are you ready to go eat breakfast? No. Try again, please. All right, I'm dressed. Now I just gotta get all these little kiddos dressed. Okay, I'm gonna run the kids to school, which is very difficult to do because someone I know always tries to escape with us. Josh, you gotta stay with daddy. I'll be back in two seconds. Come on. Okay, love you guys. Have a great day. Bye, bye, bye. Get out of here. I love you. See you later. Be safe, be kind, work hard. Okay, just got home from dropping off my kids. Do you guys ever do that thing where you pull into your house, but you like sit in your car for a few minutes before going inside, just kind of like bracing yourself. I do that. And the interesting thing is I actually use this time to sit in my car for a quick minute and say my morning prayer because I've got ADHD, like literally not facetiously, but like I was literally diagnosed with it. And so sometimes taking a second to center myself is very difficult to do. So when I do it in the car, I can like talk out loud, breathe deep for a second and kind of center myself for the day. So that's what I kind of do for a second in my car. And I got a quick call 
all before I left. So I'm supposed to get this thyroid scan today and they completely canceled on me last week. It, it's a little frustrating too because I have to fast leading up to it and it's like kind of this whole thing because you have to be available for like four hours and go in twice. Anyway, last week they canceled on me about 30 minutes before because the capsules never showed up and then this morning he called again and luckily they didn't fully cancel on me but they delayed me. So now I have to kill a few hours and go in this afternoon. I need to adjust my day because I was hoping to go in for my scan right now, run a bunch of errands in the afternoon, and then go back for my follow-up scan after. But now it's all mishmash. I wish I had brought my productivity planner in the car. I would have done it here, but I'm going to take a second, caught up on a few texts, say my prayer, center myself, and then I'm going to run inside, get my planner, re-figure out my day, and then get to work with everything I need to get done today. Let's do it. All right, Bubba's headed out with the doggies. I'm gonna go for a run. That's awesome. I wish I would have known that my scan was gonna be canceled. I maybe would have done a class at the gym. I'm grabbing my computer, grabbing my stuff. I have a babysitter here, a nanny here with the kids. Um, Cause I was supposed to be gone right now, but that's okay. Anyway, I'm gonna take a second to center myself and figure out my day. Come with me while I do it. I've shown this before, but let me kind of explain to you what I'm doing for those of you who might be new around here. I have this method of scheduling that I call the block schedule system. I teach it in my productivity bootcamp course, but I do have kind of an introduction video here on YouTube and a free printable here on YouTube. I will link those below, but essentially here's what you do. You brain dump everything you need to get done for the week. For me, I keep this in my to-do book, which is like a normal separate notebook. You just keep a running list for one week at a time of all the things you need to get done and then throughout the week you just cross them off as they're done and the next week which like right now I just started a new list so anything that wasn't finished from last week's list I either slough it off and say ah, I don't need to do that anymore or I carry it over I have a line of planners. This is my productivity planner that I'm using currently. And we do have a brain dump list for you in the planner that you can use. But anyway, what you do is you block out your day. I'll show you my blocks in a minute. And then you go to your to-do list and you find to-dos and place them where it makes sense and where they belong and where they can be accomplished in your respective blocks. You don't want to block your day out hour by hour. If it's too tight, you'll get too behind, too stressful. So. Two to four hours is the goal. Three hours is the sweet spot. My morning block is a three hour block from when I wake up until now. Actually, it's about 10 right now, so I gotta get going. Today, this is my mid-morning block. Usually this block I call my work block, but today this is right when I have to be getting my scan, so I'm readjusting it today a little bit. This is kind of my after school block, evening and dinner block, and then night block, which is really just, you know, once the kids are in bed. So now what I'm gonna do is, first of all, I'm going to plug in like a appointments and places I have to be today, calls I have, things that have a specific time to them, basically things I would find in my calendar. I will plug those in first and then I will go and pick the things I need to get done today and figure out where they can go. Okay, I got my day sketched out. I even figured out how to readjust dinner because my scan is going to interfere with my ability to cook dinner tonight. So we're just gonna do leftovers. Luckily, we've got plenty and I figured out my day. So right now, my job is to get ready. I need to make some phone calls while I'm getting ready. That's something I can multitask. Uh, I also need to catch up on some work voxers and messages. And then when I need to leave my house shortly after noon, then I will be out and about in my car. I'll be doing my scan and then I have a break in between my first scan and my second scan. So while I'm out, that's when I'm going to be running my errands and doing anything that requires me in my car away from my house since I'll be out anyway. Then I'll come back, get some work done and things done in my home before I need to return to my next scan. So I gotta get going. Let's get ready for the day.
finally ready for the day. I had a phone call I was getting ready. I caught up with Bubba on some work stuff, um, caught up on some Voxer stuff. I also had an employee stop by and drop off some things for our work retreat tomorrow. So right now it is 11.37 according to my schedule here. Oh, and I also just kind of went and checked in on the baby, said hello, and then got them settled with the sitter for a minute. Got ready, check, bags from Rachel, check. So I need to catch up on a few more work things and then I need to head out of here in about 20 minutes to go to my scan. So gotta get some work done for a quick 20 minutes while I can. Okay, I worked on some work stuff, worked on a post I needed to get done, uh, but I gotta get out of here. It is 12, so I'm going to grab my planners and take them with me so I can get some work done while I inevitably wait in the waiting room, as we know how that goes, and head to my appointment. I'm starving, I've had to fast, except for a little sip of water and a bite of food this morning. So hopefully this appointment is quick so I can get back and get something to eat. 